my fellow Patreon patrons. Super thrilled to have you here and hope you enjoy your first meditation painting session with me. Whether you want to grab some paints and paint along with me this month or just chill out and watch me paint. Either is fine. Um, this is just to provide just some mental quietude. For me it's very therapeutic um, just to meditate while I'm painting and hopefully you can find some peace, a little, t you know, a little carve out a little time of peace for yourself. Um, everything I do is pretty easy and you don't have to show anyone the things you paint, they're for you. Um, this, this is just to reset your brain, find some time, be, be peaceful and quiet. Um, so I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, this month I'm doing Dragon in honor of the Year of the Dragon. Um, we're coming up on the Chinese Lunar New Year. And whether you believe in such things or not, I think it's fun. <laughs> and I am a dragon, actually, so I'm finding this project particularly exciting. So anyway, let's get to it. After I ring the little singing bowl, I'll be quiet. And you can just chill out and watch the paint fly. Have fun, guys. This is one of my singing bowls that I like to use for meditation. And I'll be ringing it three times to call us to a quiet place. And just focus on your breathing. Breathing in, breathing out, how that feels. Sitting in your chair, how does that feel? How do you feel in your body? Maybe noticing little aches and pains. Just noticing, just being in the moment, and just breathe. Breathe in, breathe out, and just be right here. So right now I've got a 12 by 12 canvas, it's already pre-primered, and I've got this little ornamental bell, and it's got little dragons on it, little dragon motifs, and so I'm kind of using that as just a little guidepost for the dragon I'm going to be doing. So if you have any little totems or icons around your house that maybe you want to look at while you paint, that's cool, or pull something up on your phone, that's fine. Um, just something to kind of give you a little, you know, a little guidepost to, to go along with. I'm doing it very loosely based on the dragon on a bell. And I'm just going to take a pencil and just kind of rough out, like, just the general shape of the dragon. Very simple, guys. Like, this could literally just be like an S or something, you know. And so I'm going to do that in pencil very lightly. Now that I've got a basic dragon shape, I'm going to go ahead and start the fun part, painting. I'm using acrylic paints and really just going to let my imagination go wild and play with whatever colors I feel. I've got some pinks, magentas, purples, blues, greens, yellows, a white, a black. I even have some Posca pens. So if you guys, I mean, just really, you can use watercolor, I think any kind of water soluble material work, acrylics, gouache, stuff like that. Um, but you can use whatever you want to do your dragon. So 
So just adding in colors, putting some little tails and little wing things and this thing is just my own dragon. He's just gonna be whatever. <laughs> He's and I'm gonna fill him up with plants and flowers because that's what I like to paint. So I'm gonna do some flowers, some leaves. I'm going to focus on textures. Um, I like stippling, so there'll be lots of little scales and dots and things like that. Just make this dragon your own. Fill him up with whatever you want. Um, it's a dragon. You can meditate on what dragons mean. Strength, health, good luck. Put some symbols of those things in there. on the dragon's face um, like I want him to have a whimsical kind of mischievous look I'm not gonna make a fierce angry dragon I want a good kind dragon this year you guys can make him whatever kind of dragon you want Now I'm just having fun doing some details, some shading, adding in more colors, making flowers look like flowers. Just really having fun making this a botanical dragon. This is a Posca pen. They are acrylic pens that are fun to do small like liner work and just fun details. They come in different sizes. They come in thick sizes so you can make big thick strokes. I like to use these little little fine finer tip ones to do little just little drawing detail things. 
I usually use a liner brush, so I really love a liner brush, but some things are just too small. And it is actually pretty fun to use a Posca pen. <laughs> So at this point I'm kind of viewing my dragon as a kind of a patchwork quilt dragon with all these different fabrics or maybe he's made up of different little kimonos or something. <laughs> anyway, just have fun with your dragon guys. At this point I think my dragon is complete and I will sign him and put a varnish on.